I think it's got that tomato chutney jam on it. Perfect. Thank Next. you. What is up, guys? My name is Carson. Sammy's not in the picture, but she's back there. We are the complete couple, and today we are docked in Bimini, Bahamas, My at the Virgin place. Voyages Beach Club here in Bimini. We have been here many times now. We're gonna take you off the ship, show you the beautiful Bimini Beach Club, well, and everything breakfast. everything there is to offer. We've got breakfast, we've got the ship show this evening. Oh, I'm so excited. Lots going on. We'll see you guys at breakfast. Okay, new pool of the day. Favorite Virgin Boys Entertainment. Casino, game show, nightclub, drag queen. Who put who what? Wonder, huh? Wonder, wonder who put those? Casino all day. All right, back at the galley for breakfast. Honestly, we had a razzle because dazzle. For the billionth time, he wants to come to galley. Listen, we had a razzle dazzle. <laughs> However, razzle dazzle is good. It's not the best. I just find that this stuff here is quick, easy, and honestly, it's fantastic. It's honestly really nice. I'm gonna get you guys a, ch a chakuri just to oh, show it to you. Good, just actually. to show you to you. They had a quickie smoked salmon like thing. Like little ox. Trail mixes. Power bars. Granola bars. Acai bowls. Your fruits. All right, let's get some food. All right, so we got the uh, tropical box again. <gasps> They're out of kiwi, no. Pineapple, now that looks good. That looks like good pineapple. Good pineapple. Here's a mango, let's see. Yeah, mango's still fabulous, but I'm heartbroken there's no kiwi. And then here's your cheese box. What are you gonna try? What do you think? The prosciutto. Yes. Kind of looks a little hard, actually. It tastes like it's been up there for a little bit. Not like freshly shaved mm -hmm. type situation. That feels hard as a rock. Ooh, that is hard as a rock. You can see it from here. Blue cheese looks really creamy though. I'm gonna give it like a six out of ten. Ah, there you go. We ordered an omelet. I think we're gonna try so we can bring you guys something different by the uh, egg, bacon, and cheese croissant. And then we're gonna get off the island. Off. We're gonna get to the island off the boat. Say we got an omelet. Wait, hold on. Pause. Best bacon on board yet. Wow. Wow. Oh my this. gosh, you gotta try a piece of bacon, bro. I'm gonna try this olive before you destroy Look. it. Oh my god, it's spilling out. Look, there's ham in it. I did not ask for ham. There you go. I'm not gonna lie, this bite looks really good. Yeah, it really does. Mm. What'd you think? Not a big omelet here. You're not at all. I'm really good. That is, again, shocking. Wow. I did not ask for ham. I don't know where the ham came into play, but it's in there now. So, there you go. Best bacon I've had yet. And this tomato I had yesterday was really good. Mm. I told you, that they make, it, it's so fluffy. That was fantastic. There you go. All right, we're retrying the, wow, that one's actually cooked really good. It's actually pink in the center. That actually looks way better than the other days. Cheese is melted. Wow, that looks really pretty. Yeah, the burger, I mean, actually looks pretty. And then we got a croissant to try. That was definitely pink in there. Yeah, that's like definitely, if you like your burger, like medium. Mm. Better? Mm-hmm. That is one messy, probably terrible for you sandwich though. Absolutely. <laughs> Bacon, egg, cheese, and burger, and maple syrup, and French toast. That's yeah, actually so bad. Almost a 10. Just kind of snacking though, because I know we're probably going to eat on the island. That is the egg, cheese, and bacon croissant. The croissant looks really soft. I saw someone with a croissant earlier. Wow. I think it's got that tomato chutney jam on it. It's really soft. What do you think? So it's good, it's kind of cold, funny enough. Wow, that's funny because the cheese is so melty on there. Let me see if you're right. Oh my god, this is like flaky as flaky can be. Holy cow. Maybe the softest croissant I've ever consumed in my life. That I would agree with. That wasn't cold. That's actually pretty good. There you go. I like that. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Wait, well, I like that. Hold on, maybe try the center. No, that's just really good. There you go. All right, we'll wow. see you on the island. Good. Sammy's gonna hide it sneakily, hide a duck. However, everybody in the gym can see her, so it's not that sneaky. <laughs> everybody in the gym just watched it. Girl back there was uh, on the treadmill. Well, good. Maybe she'll come out and get my duck. Maybe. Look how empty it is. Right? It's really nice. It's like actually tempting to just stay on the boat right now. Like, seriously, like. It's like, really tempting. If you just wanted to relax, there's literally. Oh, oh man. It's nice out. You got a ball right there. Every yeah, beach bed's like available. Everything's open and available. It's really nice. We are heading off the boat. We'll see you there. We just got off. It was forward or mid, not aft this time. The water looks beautiful, man. It's like the last time we were here, I don't remember if it was Bellaria or if it was Virgin. I can't remember. We've been here two times now. One time we stayed a really long time though, but pointless. Check that out on our channel. Really good videos, but really, really calm seas today. It's beautiful, windy but beautiful. All right, so let's go catch that tram. Side note, if you can see people like struggling to walk, look at my back, look at my back, I can't even, it is so windy. I'm sure you guys can hear it. It actually is blowing you over. I don't, I, I don't even know how they docked the, this boat. It is so windy, it's insane. Hey guys, you know it's gonna be a good drive when your driver is drinking a four loco in a bag. Oh 
my freaking god. That is where we rented golf carts from Renee and Sluggo, but I don't see Renee or Sluggo. Okay, so we were listening and they said $70 for the whole day for a golf cart. So, and Renee and Sluggo are here. So this is the first stop and you can go to Fisherman's Village or you can get a golf cart. There's our favorite place, Resorts World. All right, here we are, Virgin Voyages Beach Club, the beach club. Garden's got his McUltra shirt on today because he's probably gonna be drinking some McUltras or clicks. Oh no, there's an ultra right there. I love this little private island. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's nice, I'm excited. We're gonna show you guys the island. So let's see, we got Beach Eats, the um, Belvedere Beach Club it looks like. Which Cabanas. I think has one of those uh, hammocks, I think. So we're in the main house right here. Yep. Other cabanas, you got the, the court, That's water large. sports, cabanas beach, the lagoon. Two lagoons. Yeah, one is like an adult and one's like a one kid. is there is no kids on it's the like same a, it's boat. It's like a lounge. One's one like, is chill. This one's chill, which is this one right here, which has volleyball. This one is where they do the float party and that gets wild. There you go. All right, cool. Fireball. I think that's oh, the thing that lights on fire. Oh yeah, it's the fireball. Yeah. Honestly, the food smells pretty good though. Last time we did not like. I the hated food the here. food. And you know, Virgin, we don't not like the food here. Other yeah. than the social club, that food all sucks. Other than that, there's no bad food on the yep. ship. It was so disgusting here, and I love curry. They had two curries. I love curry. They were foul. They were disgusting. Foul. And look how nice it is. They just have a bar here. They had a bar at the front. They got a bar over there. So they got bars everywhere. Grab some towels. I will tell you, it's really nice here. They don't scan your wrist for towels. Thank you. Yeah, they they're not going to charge you $50 for a towel. They just give it to you. It's, which it should be. It's a towel, man. You're making thousands. Or yeah. It's a freaking towel, dude. Yeah, well, again, because like on, you know, Royal and those oh other my boats. Gosh, you don't return it if you forget or you leave it or you, I mean, who takes a towel? Well, yeah. Maybe we're just good people. I don't know. But it's like $75 charge. Yeah. Remember my mom got charged in Alaska. She returned it. She had to go to the guest services, wait an hour, just tell them she returned the freaking towel. Yep. One thing about uh, Bimini Beach Club, get here early because it is 11 a.m. and there is not a no seat wonder the boat entire was... house. Happened last time. I don't know where all these boats came from, but it's slammed. Yeah. I don't even know where we're gonna put our bag down. And it's pretty early. I mean, it's 11, that's pretty early. It's not like two. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It is slammed. Also, it's nice. They got these walkways so you can walk. There's your cabanas. There's one of the fireballs. All the pre-done floats, they actually look like some need a little bit more uh, air in them. Kind of cool. This is kind of nice. This is, your, this is your beverage hut. You just come over here and you get all the Cokes and waters you want. No one's having to wait for drinks. No no charging for a Coke pack. You just come get Coke, water, ginger ale. It's over here by the food area. And this is where they you pass out the food, order your food here. Come back. And they got another drink station over here. It's kind of cool. Drink station right by here. All their games, corn holes. Let's see what kind of games they got. See, so they had cornhole. They got like bocce ball. I think that's what that is. I think that's bocce ball. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's some kind of play on horseshoes. Let's right, go find Sammy and see what we want to do. All right, so Carson went and got us drinks, but we are just hanging out in the pool. We have exactly 30 minutes until the pool party starts, so that's what we're going to wait for. All righty. Pina colada on deck. Now we're just waiting for the pool party. Ahoy, sailor! Welcome to Bimini Beach Club! Woo! Welcome to our float on party. In just a few minutes, the Happenings cast are going to be passing out some lovely pool inflatables, but they are for the pool only. We're keeping our oceans plastic free the Virgin Voyages way. Who's here for some sun? And who's here to party?
brought back our regular camera. Awesome. Let's go try some food. Pool party's a blast. Yeah, Come really for the pool party. Oh my God, the seagulls are, oh my God, it's a whole cheese stick, I think. Are you gonna get it down? Oh no my God! Way. Oh my God, that was foul. Buddy, that's bigger than you. I don't think he can he get, can't it down. get it down. Oh my god, I think he's gonna die. <laughs> oh my god, he's, he can't fly, dude. That was incredible. Anyways, for the pool party, absolute blast. They got floats, they got water guns, they got dancers. Pretty much every Virgin crew member shakes their butt. They all twirl around. It's about the most adult themed pool party. Pool party yeah. you could imagine at the end of the day. Now we're gonna show the food. The right, beach club of Bimini mains. I don't know what that is. I kind of want to try a chicken, jerk chicken thigh. Snapper, curry, mango salad. We got really not that more much. Salad. I Some don't desserts. Know. We're gonna get a couple things. I think we should do a grilled corn on the cob. Yeah, rice and uh, beans. Rice and beans. I want to try the chicken. ceviche just to try it for see how it is. I think we do the chicken. Let me try the curry to see if it's bad as curry. last time. All right, there we go. Mine made up. Taking it up back there. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so here's the rice and beans. Here's the chicken that looks honestly the best. Yep. We probably should have got two of those. Uh, corn, red snapper, and a curry. So you want to try the snapper? Try the snapper first is a light thing. It smells better than last time. Last time it like smelt. I don't know if it was snapper, but it was some type of fish and it smelt so bad. I'm actually not sure about this. Oh, bad. Again? I didn't like that. There you go. We never like the seafood here. That's so funny. You can cut that out by <laughs> There's bad. Let's just try a bite. That looks kind of good. That tastes like rice and beans. Rice and beans. I mean, you can't really, if you screw that up, I'm a little concerned. This, I have no high hopes for. It's not bad, but it's very pumpkin-y. Yeah, it is a pumpkin curry, which is, is a little is? weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pumpkin curry. I taste it. Might as well try this one. That was the piece I wouldn't have gotten. That was a little burnt. Mm. Oh, I got it. That is really good. Try that. Wow, that's good. It's like a jerk chicken. Literally so much better than the they had last time. I told you. That's amazing. All right, Sammy's funny. She likes it off the cob. I cut a little bit off for her. The reason I did it is this, it's in coconut. I don't like coconut. We're not big coconut eaters. Uh-uh. It's not pink agave, but it's good without the coconut. Yeah, I will tell you this. I can still Fresh. taste the jerk in my mouth from oh, that chicken. Oh, it's a little spicy. It's got a little cake. So if you mind. are not a fan of jerk, you, you won't like it. it you if you like love. jerk, you will love it. If you don't, don't like you it, won't have much to eat here. Not be able it to is eat very that. jerky. All right. It's a little spicy. I think we're going to run to Resorts World after this, show you guys Resorts World for a minute, and then uh, head back to the boat. See you guys there. We're going to walk into Resorts World for a minute. We really can't film in here, but we did do a whole, oh, yeah, we did do like a whole trip here, so you can go check out our channel for that. Yeah, it's really fun. But uh, we'll go walk you around. This is the third stop on the tram, so you just want to come here. Yeah. It is the third stop, so. We gonna go all night, we gonna light it up. Just like that, we were all changed. It is sadly the last night I of the cry. trip. I know, went so quick. We have got the ship show still showing you guys. We've got, we're going to Opa evening. Yeah. Um, I oh, guess, I don't know, Snail. we're gonna go see it. And uh, stick oh, around. Sure. Got some uh, drinking to do, maybe some gambling to do, some it's shows to watch. Some weird show that we saw last time we'll bring you guys. Stick around, we'll see you there. It has unfortunately come to that time. It is pack up time. So we did just get our laundry back, which is kind of cool. Look at this. This is going to be all clean laundry that they did for us. This whole bag. This is a crap little laundry. They even put your, look, they put your socks back together for you. They do the best job here on Virgin with laundry. So all our socks are in pairs. Everything's folded. So I'm going to start packing this up and uh, see you guys here at dinner. Here's my VV full of today. Two for the drag queen, two for game show, two for casino, two for gobbles. I don't know what that means, so... Uh, two for Red Room, and then some of our books actually get. Strange. <laughs> we did find out that for your luggage. You do? I don't I remember this, because it's been a little while, but you do have to go all the way down to guest services to get um, a tag if you want them to take your bag off. Yep. So I guess we have to come back anyway. Really quick, just wanted to hop in here. They were actually wrong on the phone. If you just left your luggage tags from when you got on the boat, on your bag still, all you had to do was put them outside. However, if you did remove them, you do have to go down and get new ones. But overall, leave your luggage tags on if you are thinking you're going to have luggage service done for you. And then you have to have it out by 10 o'clock and it will be waiting for you. So we're going to keep one bag with us, bag put one out. Because the nice thing about here, they don't really kick you off the boat at like 7 a.m. They open breakfast, they kind of hang out. Uh, breakfast is serving till 10.45 and you can sit till like 11, 11.30. Yeah, which is really nice. So, All right, so we are back at the dock house. Let's give this a second shot, see if our food takes an hour or not. It is exactly 6 o'clock, so we'll see how long it takes today. We are getting a hanger steak. 
then here's Upa hour. It is available from 4.30 to 6.30. Is that every day or just this day? Uh, every day except the first, so the okay. three days. So we think it's here a lot. We got a bunch a of stuff times. coming, but there we go. We got a mezzi platter, a Greek bites, a lamb skewer, and then some Greek sweets. So that's your uh, options right there. We're gonna give a shot and see how it goes. Yeah. Sammy got her couscous, which I didn't try last time. It's really not bad. You'll like it. I really it. don't want it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so to give you guys an idea, it's 6.03. It's been three minutes since we ordered. And we got the mezzi platter. I think the other Opa thing, I think this is the Greek bites thing. Yeah, this is the Greek Greek bites thing. Um, and then this is the other Opa hour thing, which is the sweets. That's gotta be the cod for sure. Definitely the cod. What do you think about it? Don't like cod. Sure about the cob there. Yeah, it was kind of a long shot. All right, here's lamb sausage. It looks really pretty. Which I'm scared of a little bit. Wow. It looks really pretty. Wow. You'll like that. That might be the best. That might be better than the chicken and the steak. Absolutely. And honestly, if you get you this, you don't yeah, need this really need because it's the same thing. Try their dips. Tzatziki's really good. Hummus is a good hummus. Let's see what this is. Oh, I like that. What is that? I don't know. But it's really good. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh, that is really good. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Red pepper and feta dip. Oh. And it came out in three minutes, literally. <laughs> Go for it, This kiddo. is my favorite. This is baklava. Oh, uh, baklava is going to be good. There, there's nothing that's going to be wrong about that. I mean, that looks, wow. They have good baklava. Is it? It looks wow. really good. Your little veggies come with it? Mmm. -hmm. That is a good baklava, I'm not going to lie. What's Turkish Delight? That one? I think this is. Let us know in the comments. Is that Turkish Delight, guys? Yeah, it's gotta be that. Yeah, it's gotta be that. I've never had one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty freaking good. There you go. So, so far, Oprah Hour, I'll be honest, that was incredible. We're gonna ask for one more. It was so good. That's definitely the Turkish Delight. There you go. The sweets were good, and I, I liked all this. What'd you think? I think I would come for Opa Hour. Skip the cod or average? Skip the cod. Yeah. Skip the cod. There you go. Get the dips. The dips are really great. The veggies are super duper fresh. The pita is soft as can be. So there you go. Okay, so now we understand. This comes with one cod and one lamb for the Greek bites. And then if you do order the lamb by itself or the cod by itself, yeah, comes it comes with two, with two just like the normal we didn't stuff. Originally. Yeah, now we have way too much stuff. So now we <laughs> yeah, now we o now we over ordered, but hey. Look how pretty that steak looks today, actually. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Wow. What do you think of the, of the lamb? Lamb's the best thing here. Yeah, it's really, really good. So we did just do this. It's the My Next Virgin Voyage. It's pretty good. You put a $300 deposit down. So you spend 300 bucks. You get $300 off your next voyage. So really you're just putting 300 up front, but you get $300 off your voyage. And then you get up to 600 on board credit. So if you book within 60 days of the sailing, you get 600 off. If you book within over 60, you get an extra 300 onboard credit. Deal. So it's a good deal. So we did uh, two of them. They are transferable yep. to friends and family, which is That's nice. That's what we did too. Transferable and they cannot be combined with casino comps, which yep. is new. We, we don't know a lot about the new casino comps yep. right now, um, but I know they exist. So again, 300 bucks so. down and then you do get 300 off the crew. So really that 300 you just wipe and then you get up to 600 onboard credit. It's Depending on if you book within 60 days, which we Way do Way better of. than Cruise Next. Yeah, I agree. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to head on down to the ship show. All righty, we are sitting at the ship show. ship show. We actually like these seats so much that we requested the same seats that we had last time. Yeah, we got here very early. The line um, comes quick, so yep. I would recommend getting here. If you want to pick your own seat, get here before 7. If you want a good seat, get here at like 6.45. We're the best we yeah. are. Uh, and if you come past 7, you're probably going to be up there. Yep, yeah, I would agree. Here's the menu. I think it's very close to the same as last time. So opener, you've got a roasted vegetable salad to start. Then you get a burrata. Then you get either a pan-seared sea bass or a pan-crusted chicken. And then you get a dessert. Some cocktails, some beers. And a beautiful show. Here we go.
Now we're gonna let Andrade. Anything of the last year. It's really soft cracker. Oh, nice one. Good. Fantastic. We've seen two acts so far. The first one was incredible. The second one was average. It's not the same as last time by any means. That is lemony delicious. That's really bad, actually. It's really juicy. The lemon sauce is really good. And it's not like too fried. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can tell it's not like super fried. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like super fried. Either rewatch or stay tuned. You can have your chance of a Virgin Voyages. Easy ship. Hey, what do you think of the ship show? So, on its opinion, ship show is something I would have said to never miss. You'll hate your life if you miss it. Like, best thing I've ever seen in my life. Vegas, amazing. This one, it was about half half as good as it used to be. I, I would say two out of the five acts were one of the ones that were like breathtaking. Before, all five were incredible. If I have the footage, I'll insert it. The other ones, the five, were just, I nice. mean like, the first guy and the rollerbladers were incredible. The four in between, and it was a lot more singing, a lot more, it was very slow. It was by no means bad. The food actually was quite good. The show was not what it used to be, which is a shame, because I was really excited about it. So maybe they're just in between acts right now. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but it was not my first ship show experience. Couldn't agree more. Still good. There you go, I agree. All right, so we tried a lot of stuff here. That we had, like their wings and their hot dog truck. I'm stuffed, I don't know if I can try anything. Wow. Is it actually good? There you go. Two kinds, natural and buffalo. Right? This is the Reuben hot dog. I got no pastrami. Sauerkraut, mustard, and cheese is kind of all you need. You're gonna love that. Honestly, both of those are an absolute win. Oh, there you go. Back in the day when I had a hot dog from here, the bun was like rock solid. There you go. So better than you think. There's the wings and the hot dog. And we're waiting to watch some karaoke with the Happenings cast. And here is karaoke with the Happenings cast. to the finale. If you're ready to see a little bit more action, make some noise.
right, guys. We are signing off for the evening. We may show you a little bit tomorrow. Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I definitely will. But listen, hit the like button. Come on, hit the subscribe button. We are uh, so close to 5,000. We'll probably hopefully be there when this comes out. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Another day, another giveaway. So this one, another tall koozie. The question is... What was our poll of the day on the first day of sailing? So on the Valiant Lady, what was our first poll of the day? First one to comment down below the correct answer gets this busy.